The late former president Emilio Stanley Moi Kibaki will be remembered for his government's great achievements, specifically in the economy, education and infrastructure sectors in the country. During President Kibaki's tenure, 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 tenure the economy took off as Kenya's GDP grew from a low 0.6% in 2002 to 5% in 2010. At the same time, the formulation of the Vision 2030 blueprint offered a roadmap for structural transformation of the country. Tess Njenga has the details. Former President Mwai Kibaki laid a firm foundation on economic growth and development which has not yet been matched since. President Kibaki also presided through a period in which the countries heavily invested into modernization and development of infrastructures like roads, airports, railways, ports, energy and telecommunications such as the construction of the Thika Superhighway. President Kibaki engaged the private sector more in infrastructure development which encouraged the government to invest further lessening Kenya's reliance on development partner funding and borrowing. Kibaki stressed on the importance of countries in East Africa undertaking projects that cut across the region for the benefit of the bloc. In the education sector, Kibaki's government decision to abolish school fees for primary education was a huge milestone. The free education program saw nearly 1.7 million more pupils enroll in school by the end of that year. President Mwai Kibaki said that was one way of raising the most educated and skilled generation of Kenyans by the year 2030. His government also established six additional constituent colleges, namely Kisi, Chuka, Pwani, Kenya Polytechnic, Kimathi Institute and Mombasa Polytechnic to increase capacity for more higher education students. The former president committed to raising up a well-educated, innovative and highly competitive generation of Kenyans. At the time of his swearing-in, economic growth was crawling towards stagnation at a mere less than 2%, while close to 60% of the population lived in poverty. The improved management of the economy during Kibaki's presidency has seen Kenya's growth domestic product, GDP, grow from a low 0.6% in 2002 to 3% in 2003, 4.9% in 2004, 5.8% in 2005, 6% in 2006, and 7% in 2007. In 2008, however, it slowed to 1.8% before climbing to 2.8% in 2009 and 5% in 2010. The slowdown was attributed to the disputed elections of 2008, but one can easily sum that the recovery was significant compared to near collapse witnessed during the time of his predecessor. Revenue collected tripled from 200 billion Kenya shillings in 2002 to 600 billion as a total of 1.7 million Kenyans were connected to the national electricity grid compared to 500,000 in 2002 and 18 million more Kenyans got access to financial services compared to less than 1 million when he started. Reporting for Hope TV News Watch, I'm Tess Njenga.